Hello everyone, it's Cold Run here. Back with Sekiro Shadow just died twice. This is going to be a short session. Um, I have not played in a little while. And probably about a five, six days or so, and just wanted to refresh myself and stay a little bit up to date on the mechanics and stuff, and maybe make a little progress towards that shortcut. And first, let's start with this guy. That was me trying to parry him. Unsuccessfully. Something else I'm noticing is that I don't have to get too fancy with the guys like that. Let's rest and reset that. I don't have to get too fancy with it. I can just kind of do my thing. I can just kind of hit them a bunch until they drop dead. Also, though, there's a shortcut there, and I want to get up to there without having to fight through these guys every time I die. Ooh, I forgot there's also a ledge here. So I'm looking for a, a quieter way to get back to that shortcut. And this seems like it might be the ticket. What's this? How did I not come up here before? Is there anything worth doing up here? It doesn't look like it. Um, can I grapple to anywhere? I don't think so. But let's check out what's behind here. Anything here? Nope. Nothing here. So we got... What is that? I don't know what that white thing is. If you know, let me know in the comments, but I have no idea what the white thing is. So let's try to be a sneaky, sneaky badger here. So I know there's someone on the other side of that wall, but what's in here? What's this place? And why have I not been here before? So there's treasure. I might be able to get up there. Some goes sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpo Temple. Vitality. Okay. So can I get up here? Mm, no, that looked good. That looked like if I could get up there, I would be able to get up there. I don't think I can. This is a pretty big open area to have nothing in it. I'm just, I'm skeptical. But I, it really doesn't look like I can hug wall. Can I eavesdrop on anyone if I hug the wall? Doesn't look like it. Again, I don't, I don't quite know what what that what's up with that. But again, my goal here. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, so the shortcut is over there. So ideally, I would like to be seen by as few people as possible. So this will be a test. Um, so torch guy is walking away. Good, that's a way that doesn't make me fight literally all the people, which is ideal. So now we can start to explore this area. First, let's head left. There's one of those turkey vultures. Another of those turkey vultures. Sneak up and really use all of our assassin skills on poultry. That's, that's good. around here. Looks like that person's dead. Uh-oh, the turkeys are patrolling. I, I really have trouble taking these enemies seriously. Okay. Alright, turkeys, let's see. Can I kill you?
It's such, such weird enemies to choose. Okay, and they look like they were like literally on patrol, like they're they're the assassins in this place. Um, I still haven't pulled off one of those um, hug the wall assassinations yet. One of these days. Go sugar. I didn't read the last part here. So Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. Anything back here? Doesn't seem to be. Anything up on the roof? Ooh, treasure on the roof. Light coin purse. Okay. That's nice. Oh, and this is this is where I saw that big open area. Still don't know what that was about. doesn't have to be about anything, could just be an open area, but still, it seemed big and wide, like optional boss or something, probably not though. Okay, so we gotta sneak around to make sure the chicken, oh, oh, it's chicken time. Yeah, get him. Oh, that's a, kind of a sad death cry. Pellets, always good. Nope, nothing there. Uh, nope, I don't think I need to hug the wall at this point. I don't know if there's a sign for when I can break open one of these huts. got to use that. I don't think I've actually used that in combat yet. Okay, so that's all that was here. Nothing too much. Uh, anything up on the wall? Nothing on the roof. So yeah, let's check the next part of this compound. No, let's actually not. I don't want to do that. I want to go back out here and be a little bit more methodical. Let's check the right now. Ooh, eavesdrop. Or Juzo. Juzo. So the boss is not a terrible guy, at least. I can actually... No, I'm... I am, are there other guys around here? I feel like there might be others. So at least he doesn't steal from Buddha. That seems like a fairly good thing. So I'm... They were saying don't steal from the things in here, I guess. What's this? Open. Okay, I'm really nervous about taking this. I don't want to take this. I think that's going to be a bad idea to take this. But it could have just been flavor text. Uh, what do I do? Fine, I'll take it. Ooh, Shinobi acts with a monkey. I was afraid that it was going to trigger like an assassin or something to come after me. The heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Oh, by the way, I still have to fix that fire thing I found in the last area. 
This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Oh, yes! Once the favored weapon of a shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, that's pretty glorious. Am I hearing something? Maybe I'm hearing nothing. Oh. You gonna come out, friend? No. We have a really, really bad line of sight. Okay, coin purse. I think that's it for this area. That's probably the next area. No, I'm actually lost now. I, f I forgot where I am relative to the shortcut. So let's go back out in here. So I started... No, I started this way. Okay. And so is this area up here then? that? Yeah, this is the bonfire area that gave me so much trouble before we found the shortcut. Oh man, that was a tricky area. Okay. So I don't need to worry about that part anymore. I am past that. Can I break these things? No, they just seem like decoration. I kind of want to go back, maybe? So I meant went left and right. So let me see if I can take care of this guy still. Yeah, so that guy I've seen before. Getting just lucky with that, I'm not. Hmm. Can I enter this place? No, I cannot. Okay, so I, I'm not going to have much progress this session, and that was where I started from. Uh, wait, does anything change now that I have the axe? Because this was the guy who told me about the axe. No, nothing changes. This tells me when... Perfect. Okay, so perfect. This tells me when new training is unlocked. So I don't have to just guess. So first, let's actually check that out. Because I imagine maybe more training will unlock with the new prosthetics. I don't know. But let's talk to this guy. No... Ins no offerings. Okay. How are you doing, Hanbei? Training. Makiri counter. Okay, a shinobi can perceive incoming thrust attacks and counter them by stepping on the enemy blade, which is frigging cool, if I can say so. Known as Makiri counter, this is a powerful risk if risky move that deals more posture damage than a regular deflect. Use Makiri counter to perform three death blows. I do wonder if Makiri counter is an actual thing, if that's like an actual like kendo technique or something. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Good. Okay. Okay. So that's... So 
I have to be earlier than I usually think for that. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I'm okay. Let me try free combat and fight once more. Put it all together and what do you got? <clears throat> Dodge the hug. <laughs> meant to dodge that. I did not. Or meant to parry and deflect it. That. Hmm, that's. That doesn't feel good. I thought I meant to do the McCurry counter there. I thought I got the counter off. No, I don't want to take that. Again, I think I'm getting it, but not. That's it. That's the time I got the eagle. Yeah, I want to try that once more. <laughs> Alright, now let's talk to the other people. I think you're probably just gonna tell me. No okay, I need other people to feel deflected by Dragon Rot. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot you just take me back into the dream. Um. Hmm, that's not what I meant. Or not dream, the memory. Okay. Mata Mata. Hirata Estate, and... Yeah, let's get back. Dilapidated Temple. Mikiri Counter, that's really cool. So thrust, I really want to be using that. The combat arts are going to okay. I don't know why it's so hard for me to use the combat art. I keep thinking of it as excessive or unnecessary. But it seems like it probably will make my life easier when I start using it. <coughs> Shinobi prosthetic, fit new prosthetic tool. Especially because I'm not really using what I have. So let's see what the others are. Flame vent. Prosthetic tool made from a loaded flame barrel costs spirit emblems to use. Do any of these not cost spirit emblems? No, they all seem to. Deals fire damage to enemies via short range blast of fire while also inflicting burn status. So this will be good if enemies are weak to burn. It's difficult to control the rage of those with red eyes through the power of man alone. Red eyes. They do, however, fear the flame above all else. So if I find something with red eyes, I'll try to remember to use this flame vent. Red eyes. Shoot a blast of fire in front of you. Okay. Yeah, let's create a flame vent. Oh, let's read this. A prosthetic tool loaded with a heavy shinobi axe costs spirit emblems to use. The strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. So against defensive enemies, loaded axe is good. So flame vent for red eye enemies, what were weak to burn, whatever red eye means. Loaded shuriken against the f against flying enemies or jumpy enemies and loaded axe against defensive shieldy enemies. I have to, uh, I've taken it to it not that well. Prosthetic es esoteric text. That's a tongue twister. Prosthetic esoteric text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with shinobi prosthetic grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi, 
but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. So this guy, so the sculptor used to be a shinobi? three up at a time. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Now let's see about that text. I think that's what this is going to be. Inventory. Can I read it? How do I read it? essence that's it looks like something's attacking him um, prayer beads ornamental letter how do I use the ornamental letter if I wanted to I swear I could use it before but there was a way to use it do I have to equip it that seems weird Try equipping it just in case. Maybe that's what the answer. I can't do that, and I'm feeling a bit on the foolish side because I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a bit on the foolish side. How can I actually use this? Use and confirm items in possession. How? What's the button to use and confirm an item in my possession? Prosthetic esoteric text. Does it just mean that I can train new abilities? Is that what that means? Acquire skills. That's it. No, wait. No, let me see what's up. So there's some ultimate thing. These look more defensive. These look more aggressive. Chasing Slice. Okay. Chasing Slice acquires Shinobi Martial Art. Chasing Slice. A Shinobi Martial Art that allows one to perform a four dashing sword slice after using certain prosthetic tools, allowing one to close distance on enemies instantly. It can be used with loaded shuriken. After using certain prosthetic tools, R1 chasing slice. Take a leap forward and perform a wide slicing attack. So good against get enemies that get away, I guess, if it closes the distance. This one's a grappling hook attack. Use the forward. Okay. Use the grappling it uses the grappling hook to launch oneself at an enemy, and you use that momentum to perform a rolling sword attack perfect tool for combining movement and attack into one, ensuring that movement is wasted. I like this a lot. R1 during grappling movement. Use grapp the grappling hook attack. Use the forward momentum of your landing to perform a powerful sword attack. This is the one I think I'm going to try. So those are not available. Oh, just because I don't have the amount of stuff for it. How am I in spirit emblems, by the way? Purchase spirit emblems. That's still all I have. All I can buy. 1039, holy crap. Um, I don't know if I need that many, but let's buy... Um, oh. Okay. Let's buy 67. That's a good number. So can I... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna 
test this out once before I end, end this session today. Travel back to the Harada estate. Um, yeah, to the estate path. Let me just test a couple of these things out. Testing some things out. Because I don't want to just rely on backing away and slashing and backing away and slashing if there's going to be faster ways to do it, especially if I'm going to need more. Need some of that way. Yeah, come on. So can I grapple onto you now? Is that a thing? Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. Can I grapple? No, I can't grapple to you. Oh, let me back out. You seem to do a perilous strike that's um, a thrust, so let me try to Makiri you. Makiri counter you. stopping by and for watching. I definitely appreciate you. You're the best, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.